This is Fred. Fred gave you this video and he can generate thousands of cat puns at the snap of a finger. But does he have good game ideas? Is Fred the future of creativity? OpenAI recently gave me the opportunity to test out their GPT-3 AI, which can write text and respond to any prompt. And if you don't know how powerful Fred is, he literally wrote the entire intro to this video in less than three seconds. Pretty crazy, right? Well, today we're putting AI in humanity to the ultimate test. I'll make three of Fred's game ideas and humanity will make 84,200 and 31 games. Whoever's games get the highest average rating wins this glorious trophy that I definitely did not make in paint in two minutes. All right, Fred, uh, give me a great game idea. How would that, how would that work, Fred? I guess that checks out. All right, the idea is simple. We'll have an AI control the bird for you and all you have to do is make sure the bird gets through the openings. To control the pipes, I guess you'll use space to make them jump and to make them fall, just uh, don't click space. <laughs> Honestly, this is a pretty unique idea. I'm pretty surprised. Bam, all right, our proof of concept is here in just 22 minutes as well. We've got a cool bird that follows Bitcoin's stock trajectory, and uh, what do you mean that's not a bird? They, they look just like the birds in my garden. Unfortunately though, I don't intend on keeping my game looking like one of Kazimir Malevich's paintings, so I got some reference material and sketched out some designs. Even though I'm not an artist, this is low-key not too bad. Honestly, that's saying something. It only took a couple of hours too. And honestly, it's pretty fun. I'm so used to regular Flappy Bird and I keep accidentally thinking I'm the bird, but I'm really the pipe, so it's, it's pretty difficult. I wonder if Fred is bilingual. I think now just might be high time for me to use my incredibly practical Latin skills. Daludo my dia, Fred. Whoa, he actually replied in Latin. Romani ovis caput haupidio pugnando. Okay, I have no idea how to translate that. The Roman sheep attack the head of the town and the cheese is divided as a plan to fight. What? This makes less sense than my minimum wage job. I have no idea what to make, so freaking I'm just gonna make fruit ninja but with only cheese Sheet. instead. Alright, you know the drill. I made some bad art to start with, got the slicing implemented, spent an hour looking for music, then gave up and settled for Kevin MacLeod's Monkey Spinning Monkeys. And after a few hours, the base game's working alright. Every time you slice the cheese, you can hear the sheep celebrate because I guess you're dividing it. Anyways, it's time to make better art and I wanted to go for a bit of a silly style. It's a little something I call cheese, which stands for copying cool images online and uh, stealing them. I, I mean borrowing them permanently. I found some cool pictures of cheese, took a picture of my wall for the background, and used some dubious fonts for the title. Doesn't it just look oh, glorious? I think this game is pretty cool. I guess it isn't the most accurate to Fred's idea, but seriously, what was I supposed to make of that? Also, for the bombs that you don't want to slice in this game, there are American cheeses because who likes American cheese? Bam, game number two is posted, and oh boy, I've got quite a bit of feedback on my last game already. Alright, one more game and here's the twist. We have to use a 6x6 resolution canvas. Let's see what kind of game idea Fred comes up with. Oh no. I have a Simon Says and I'm deviously bad at it. Well, what'll the game be titled? Alright, I, I guess that's not a bad copyright neutral name. It's better than the serials. I got to work and got the basic gameplay working. Now, normally, I make the crappy art first, then make it a little bit better. But this time, I only have five pixels to screw up. So, honestly, I'm not sure what I gotta change. I just made a title screen and a game over screen, which, uh, graphic designers, cover your eyes. Yes, that is red on blue. I apologize and I plead guilty. This game only took me half an hour to make, and although I'm terrible at it, making it was pretty fun. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, you should try this challenge. Give yourself 30 minutes on a 6x6 canvas, um, what kind of game could you make? And before we get into the results, I just want to say you should totally check out Game Maker if you haven't already. It's free to start and it's great for beginners. I may seem a bit biased, but genuinely, they didn't tell me to tell you anything about this. Game Maker is just what kickstarted me from making little beginner games to commercial games that you can find on some of the top websites. It's really an amazing tool. Anyways, cut to future me, let's see those results. And the results are in. I have COVID. Apologies if I sound a bit different, but ain't no COVID-19 gonna stop me from getting you these results. So if you remember, Fred wins if his games are above average, and Humanity wins if his games are below average. But to find out the winner, we first need to see what the average game is actually rated. To do that, I messaged the owner of the website, and he said the games would need about 3 out of 5 stars to be better than average. But I need an exact number, so I went through the latest 50 games, and calculated the average score of 2.812 out of 5. As for Fred's games, they got a total of 321 views, 100 
294 votes and one favorite. Coming in at third place with uh, 2.51 stars out of 5 is Simone's Pixels. Yikes, that's almost worse than Cyberpunk. I can totally see why this one's rated the lowest. It's a simple game, and to be fair, there's only 36 pixels in total, so it's not like the graphics are gonna make up for the gameplay. But coming in at number 2 is surprisingly Pipe Dreams. Pipe Dreams got a rating of 2.95, which bumps the average up to 2.73 for Fred, but that's still below the threshold. It's not looking good for Fred, but if Ovid's Glory gets a 3.1, I think he can still win. It's kind of crazy to think that posting this on a brand new account, I got 118 views. Honestly, that's not too shabby. Congratulations to Ovis Glory, you got that coveted number one spot. But it all comes down to this. A change of even 0.1 stars can be the difference between winning and losing. And Ovis Glory received... 3 stars out of 5 which means Fred's game's got an average of 2.806. The votes of 10 people or so could have changed the outcome entirely. I, I'm sorry, Fred. Looks like humanity wins again. You're, you're just not good enough. Or maybe I'm a bad developer. Either way, though, thanks so much for watching, and I'm gonna go sleep now. G goodbye.